Hello everybody, welcome back to the Callisto Protocol. Last time we entered the chapter named Aftermath, I think. I don't know. We progressed a bit further into the game. I got killed a couple of times. We saw a very neat death animation. But other than that, I still can't stomach the dodging system in the game. But let's move forward and see what's going on here. Come in handy, though. Can I get one? Oh. Over to the reforge. You can use it to print a new weapon. Now, give me a minute to tap into the system. Okay, print a weapon of the reforge. That's technology for you. Is this the reforge? Yeah, it's labeled as such. Oh, we must also upgrade our weapons. Okay, I had a couple of things to sell an energy converter. Fantastic. Does this cost 800 units? Huh. Okay, so there is an upgrade system in the game. Please make a valid choice. I don't have enough monies. Okay, I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Elias, maybe care to help me? Maybe some money is here. Aha, just enough to reprint the... UGC printing for all your needs. Yeah, the hand cannon. Oh, it... yeah, it certainly looks a lot better like this. Okay, got it. If we're gonna get out of here, we need a ship, one that you can fly. Now, I found an inmate with the skills to hack the network and call one down from orbit. Bad news is they're in the shoe. Maximum security. Oh. You're fucking tough getting in there. You think? Call bothering you? Yeah, ever since I got it. Yeah, they can scramble your brains a little bit. Don't worry, you get used to it. Yeah, you sure know a lot about this place. Yeah, I've had nothing but time. Okay, so what's next? The shoe? Can we just waltz our way in there? No, I wish we could. It's not gonna be that easy, bruv. Look, I've been here a long time. I've got privileges that you don't. So I'm gonna have to take you a different way. But I'll be your eyes and ears and I'll guide you along. Right, don't you leave me hanging. I got you. Unless you know I'm a pilot. Well. I'm afraid not. I'll get that door for you. Elias, it's not that I don't trust you, but... I know how horror games go. Service. Ooh, we can upgrade the stun button. Okay, we don't have enough money, for, of course, for it, but... Yeah, blocking protection. <laughs> Are you kidding me, game? And we can't just plainly buy ammo, but what's this one here? Stability for the recoil. And upgrade the bullets and boom bullets, explosive rounds. That's always good. High capacity magazine is also good. Maybe I should buy some bullets, but yeah, we'll see. Six bullets on us. Ah, let's think, see how this goes. And we just switch to the melee weapon, that's good. After performing a melee combo attack, look for the quick shot indicator target on the enemy. Press hold L2, quickly press. Okay, let's see how this goes. Give me an enemy game. Okay, then. I'm down sight. Oh. I wasted two bullets. Hmm. This is a bit more interesting. Still not great. Seems like he's infecting them. Turning them into those things. Take that elevator down to the next level, then follow the signs to reach medical. Okay, I will. That's cool, that's cool. Elevator rides are boring. At least they are short. Oh boy. Process faster. Fuck. 
fun flipping tastic. Enemy? Hmm. Oh, there's the enemy. I kinda want to check out what sort of damage headshots do, but I'm afraid I'm going to waste a bullet if I do that. Yeah, I did. Oh, you got a couple of hits in me. No, I already wasted bullets on you. More credits, yeah. So there was a box here. No, screw you. Things seem calm, but they actually are not. Enemies? Oh, oh you're a big one. Oh, shit. Come on, baby. And you're dead. Oh, you're not. Oh, shit. Oh, that was actually entertaining. Oh, you can grow your head back. Oh, shit, I'm dead. And we're thrown back here. Let's try this again, yes? Let's try and dodge your... Sh no, let's not dodge your shit. Let's be aggressive. Oh, I thought... That was a kill shot. Are you not dead yet? I have no ammo. Okay. Screw you, yes? I have 8 bullets, I should reload, but also I should use a health pack. It went better the second time, but still I'm not sure I did it right. How do we reload? Okay, we have to press twice. Is it the second one? Hello. So where am I supposed to go? Huh. Let's just scavenge for supplies. There we go. I'm not sure where we're supposed to be going, so let's go back where that weird thing was and search there as well. Ah, shit. I like it when such games are linear. But, you know, what can you do? Hmm. Now I'm even more perplexed. This way is all bloody, so I'm guessing we're going... Well, this way. Or maybe not? I don't know. Stop confusing me, game. Yes? There's nothing here. Okay. Are these explosive? No. Oh, what is this blood mist? Ah, it's just the game loading the textures. Because I'm playing on PlayStation 4 Pro and it's... It's not made for this game, obviously. Or rather, the game is not exactly made for this console. But developers should understand one simple thing. While, yes, a large portion of the gaming population cares about graphics and all that, most of us care about gameplay. Just give us fun gameplay and we can stomach graphics from earlier eras. But then again, I guess, if you went for 
graphics from earlier eras, you wouldn't justify the price tag, wouldn't you? Hmm, interesting. I don't like this place. I don't like it at all. Oh, we have to fight at least one enemy here. Like a jump scare after we open this box. Oh, okay, okay. That's nice. Yeah, called it. I would prefer it because... Oh, shit. Instant kill. Yeah, okay. Maybe calm down. I would prefer if it was instant kill when we do the pistol attack. And there goes my newly found health injector. But more ammo. That's good. Okay, how do we reload the... No, don't drop. Use. Again, weird choice to make the triangle the use button. When in-game, it's, you know, the X. No upgrades. How do we reload? Oh, square button. That's good. Let's go and explore back here, too. That sounded a bit like a lightsaber. Just a bit, though. Nothing here. Okay, okay. Moving towards the designated direction. I smell trouble. Get up, you bastard. He's a bit slow, eh? Good time for a jump scare. Okay. Really smart way to hide the loading process. Yeah, really smart. You must have used at least two brain cells to implement this. Ladder going down, but of course we're going to explore first because, you know, we kinda want to die. Okay, nothing here. So far it has been go to new area, uh, three lines of dialogue, explore cells, kill three enemies, move to the next area. <sighs> Simplistic, but it works. It makes for a game. It doesn't make for a good game, it makes for a game. Does it justify the price tag? That remains to be seen. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, we're back here. Okay, apparently we were supposed to circle back here so we can enter this vent. Oh, hello. I don't feel threatened, just so you know. And this is, seems like another control room. Back there. And a bunch of dead bodies. Oh, hello. Huh. More stealth sections. Can we at least do stealth kills? I would very much love that game. You can't see me, you can't hear me. Oh, 
You could walk a bit faster, though. Go the other way. Ah, screw you, bits. Ooh, you blocked that. Good for you, mate. But now you're dead. I hope. Yes, you are. Yeah, I don't think I will. Unless you mean the prison cell that is my life. I can't escape that, though. Getting grim and dark. Because the game... doesn't. What's in here? Come on, what's in here? There has to be something. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's go back to this room and explore. Why? You can't open it. You'll need to find security credentials. Look around for any dead guards nearby. Ooh, I think I know where that is. It's next to the robot. Screw you. Harvest implant, yes. Oh, we have to keep the button pressed. To dig out their implant. Uh, boy. You don't have a choice. It's the only way through that door. My sentiments exactly, Jacob. What a mess. Yeah. You do what you gotta do in here. This place has a way of changing you. I mean, he's already dead though. It's not like you're hurting him. No. Yes, Officer Jane. Gordon Cole? Where are you? In my tower. Watching. Safe, warm, with snacks and soda available. The end of a long journey. Okay. He went full bonkers. Yeah. Go. Jesus. Ooh, I'm sensing something big going down. Yeah, see? Something big went down. I couldn't have placed this better myself. I couldn't have placed this better if I knew what was going to happen. All right. Let's get battle ready. Oh, what are those? I can hear the monsters, but we see very few of them. Not that I'm complaining, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's a not... Well, there it is. It's a not very effective way to create tension. You are dead. You are not dead. Come on. I hate you. That's bullshit game. Well, use my last health pack. Yeah, I was saying I can hear the monsters, but not actually see many of them. That's a weird way of creating tension, combined with the stupid dodging system in the game. I don't know what we are trying to do. Keep things simple and effective, and you have a great game. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe this door then. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go to the other door first. Why did I do that? Because the other door prompted the loading sequence. So I'm guessing this area here must have supplies or something not very important to the progression of the game. Okay then, maintenance rooms are always housed to enemies. 
I have to confess, I like science fiction horror media and Alien, the first Alien, being my favorite movie of all times. So effective. Shit. It doesn't look, it hasn't aged in the best way in the looks department, but it's still one of the best in the scares department and the tension department. And honestly, I like the looks of the movie, but you know what I mean for a bigger audience. And I am very willing to accept science fiction horror games, but this one just doesn't feel right. And yes, I'm still bitching about the dodging system, the combat system. Okay, another door we have to pull open. Maybe, yes. Come on, dude. Ooh, buddy. I'm in medical. Yeah, we can see that. The back exit. I'll contact you there. Should we extract the... Yeah. Dead, I'm guessing. Okay, nothing from you. That's blinding. And of course, Aliens, the second Alien movie, was amazing as well, but it was a bit more action horror. The first one was like pure horror. Hello. And to answer a logical question, I have played Alien Isolation. I actually loved that game. I didn't like the fact that we have to fight so many androids, but yeah, in general, it was good. I might play it for the channel at some point. Oh, we get one of those telekinesis uh, gloves? Yeah, now now we're talking. Now we're cooking, mate. I found one of those gloves that Captain Ferris had. That's a grip. Bastard guards love to use it on us inmates. I can understand why. But, but it's good. It works on all sorts of things too. Go on, give it a go. Yeah, let's let's play with it. We'll do. So how do we use it? Tutorial, please. Tutorial. L, 2, and X. And we launch it. Okay. This should explode, I guess. No. I'm guessing if we upgrade this, we will be able to grab enemies as well. Okay, nothing much here. Okay. Things are getting a bit more interesting. We add some weird uh, space age technology in the game, and we weaponize it, and things might get interesting indeed. Ooh, operation room. That's always good. Oh. Holograms, a neat way for storytelling. But where are the bodies of the doctors that were killed here? Also, if this is the infirmary, shouldn't we find at least a couple of med packs or, you know, some health gels? Maybe, game. I mean, I appreciate the weapon, it's very, very welcome, but I can hear you. But yeah, some health would be neat too. Okay. Yes, use it to grab enemies and launch them. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, switching places. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. You are a big one. Ha! 
how are you not dead yet? Okay, let's make you dead then. Okay, I'm dead then. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe the idea was, you know, use enemy one as a weapon against enemy two. Maybe. We're fully reloaded. I don't see any spikes around, so... Yeah, I don't think a plastic uh, canister will, will be that effective. Okay. So... Not even dropping him on the wall damages him. Down with you. Let's see what we'll do with the second one. I'm trying to dodge, mate. Well, that's one way of solving your problems. There's a third one. Okay. Problem solved. GRP battery. Pa okay, it needs ammunition of some sort. Well. Okay, here is something stupid you just did. You should have shown me this tutorial as soon as I picked up the GRP. Okay? Get it? Okay. The GRP sl will slowly recharge over time and can also be recharged quickly with the GRP battery. If the GRP runs out of power while holding an enemy or object, it will drop. The GRP will automatically consume a battery from the inventory. If available to refill, yeah, 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 meter on the back of Jacob's neck. Uh, also be used manually in the inventory screen, can be picked up, found some loot crates and dropped by enemies. Information I would have loved to know beforehand. Anyway, moving on. Can we just like, you know? Hmm, we need to find the fuse, I guess. Okay, let's look around. Anything here, though? It's the obvious answer. It's through the door we entered. And go back. That was a bit of unnecessary backtracking, although it might have been a mistake on my part. I should have checked the door when we entered. Go full aggression mode on them. Don't give them an inch. What the fuck just happened, though? Everyone dead? I'm guessing that's why the backtracking. So we can have this very entertaining scene. Okay, moving on. So is the grip recharged now? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Let's reload our gun and move on. Fantastic! Oh, at least he dropped some health. Thank you for that, mate. But I used way too many bullets here. 
Okay, med lounge. When this door is now unlocked. I was supposed to go there or here. I don't know, mate. Didn't we just come through here? Let me check the other way. I don't know, I'm a bit turned around. Battery packs, yeah, those are good. Ooh, lockers. Yeah, grab the bullets. Jeez, man. Full health, that's great. Some credits. Not many. Ooh, and we found a reforger. Okay, okay. This looks like a good place to close off the episode, but first... At your service. Let's see what the upgrades on the grip are. And the upgrade small, maximum energy capacity. Long strength by removing safeties can be injured upon impact. That's good. Recharge ray. Okay, that's good. Even more recharge rate. And I'm guessing the rest are the same. Okay. Grievously target an impact at fatal speed. Okay, that's good. You also could upgrade a weapon, the, the pistol. And the bullets. And we can buy health packs and whatnot. I am going to risk it and use my money to upgrade the the gravity glove or whatever it is. I think it will be a neat way to do damage with it if we follow through with all the upgrades. Uh, but I'm hoping we get enough money to do it and enough health and supplies from the other items to, you know, allow us to do this. So I'm going to close off the episode here. I died a couple of times in this one. Had a bit of turned around uh, situation back in the prison cells. It's not getting better. The gravity glove is a nice and interesting addition, but... The game is not getting better. I can see the clankiness still. I still don't like the combat uh, uh, gameplay, especially the dozing gameplay. But maybe now with the gravity glove we will be able to counter it. We will see, we will see. I'm still trying to remain positive about the game, but I don't see that lasting that long. So, yeah, who knows? Let's, let's keep playing and see as we go. Thank you everybody so very much for watching, please consider subscribing, click the like button if you like the video, click the dislike button if you didn't like the video, leave a nice comment, leave a comment with a suggestion of what should I do in this game or what other game you would like to see me play. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.